Hello, in today's video, I'll cover encapsulation. Now, encapsulation is a way of hiding sensitive data from users, um, which is usually done by declaring something as private. However, with encapsulation, it still allows you to access um, that private field from a different class or a different source. Now, the main reasons of encapsulation is because it increases the security of data that you create, and it is considered good practice to do it within the object-oriented programming. So what we're going to start off with is um, make a new class, and we're going to call it customer. Now, in this class, we're just going to declare a private field and we're just going to call the private field phone number, for example. So that would be the phone number for our customer. Now, if we then would like to, let's just say, call the customer in our main, we would do customer, customer, and then if we try to, then there is nothing accessible. If we were to actually change this into public, then we would notice that the phone number is now available. But as we see, if it's private, it no longer becomes available. Now, that is because private hides and public makes it available. So what if we want still to have access to it? We want to either modify it or we want to get access to it. So this is where we use the getters and setters of the encapsulation. So for, what we would do is we would just type in, yeah, let's first do the setting. So if we want to set what the number is, we would do void and then we can do set phone number and we will pass in the number. So that would be our phone number. And then what we would do is we'll do phone number is equal to phone number. So our private variable of phone number is whatever we pass into this function. So now if we go into the main, what we can do is customer dot, oopsie daisy, just realize that should have been declared in the public. So yeah, we need to just put public here first and there we go. Now we have set numbers, so then we can set our phone number to be the number that we wanted it to be and just to see that it works actually never mind so next let's should continue by set, uh, getting the number so we continue writing in the public section we'll just do int and then get phone number int refers to the type of our variable and then inside we would just type in return and then phone number and then if we go here we can type in customer actually yeah count customer dot get phone number there we go uh, I tapped std at front because I'm not including the standard. But yeah, let's press F5 to build it. And we see that we are getting our number correctly. Now, usually when you use encapsulation, you choose whenever or not you want to include both of these. So sometimes you only need to get the specific data, sometimes you need to set it. But this is the, um, the correct way of doing it if you want to hide your data instead of just making all of your fields private public. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching.